Ricky Bobby life mantra if you ain't first, your last need not apply. Together with its slightly more suave GMC Sierra sibling, the Chevrolet Silverado 1500 seems perpetually in pursuit of the Ford F-Series, which has topped the sales charts for decades. Despite lacking segment-shaking new features such as turbocharged engines or aluminum body construction, Chevrolet has locked down second place in the sales race. But if GMC and Chevy sales are combined, General Motors actually sells more pickups than Ford does in most years. This pickup clearly isn't the first loser and deserves a hard look. Silverado choices begin with regular, two-door, double, four-door, or crew, really big four-door, cab configurations, all of which can be ordered with rear-wheel or four-wheel drive. Regular cabs are available with 6.5-foot or 8.0-foot boxes, the double cab is restricted to the 6.5-foot cargo bed, and the crew cab offers 5.8-foot and 6.5-foot boxes. Trim levels include weight, work truck, LS, custom, LT, LTZ, and high country. Power comes from one of three engines, a 285-horsepower 4.3-liter V6, a 355-horsepower 5.3-liter V8, or a 420-horsepower 6.2-liter V8. All of these wear the Ecotec 3 and active fuel management labels, which means they shut down cylinders at times for maximum fuel economy. The 4.3-liter and 5.3-liter engines come with a 6-speed automatic transmission, while an 8-speed automatic is standard with the 6.2-liter engine and optional with the 5.3-liter mill. View Photos 2-wheel drive double cab or crew cab Silverados offer up to 12,500 pounds of towing, with rear drive regular cabs able to tug up to 9,800 pounds. The rear-drive double cab offers the maximum payload of 2,250 pounds, while a crew cab is good for 2,180 and the two-wheel drive regular cab can handle 1980 pounds, so these half-ton trucks generally can tote one ton or better. The model we drove for this review was a Silverado LTZ Z71 crew cab 4x4 with the shorter cargo box and the 6.2-liter V8. The list price was $58,565. What's new, this 7th generation truck, dating to 1960 when the Silverado name first appeared as a trim level on the CK pickups, was all new in 2014 and refreshed last year. Aside from some juggling of the paint colors and a new jet black and medium ash gray interior combo in the high country, the changes for 2017 are mostly in the deployment of technology. A rear-view camera is now standard for LT models, Android Auto is available for the first time, joining Apple CarPlay, which came in 2016, and the standard teen driver mode lets owners monitor the behavior of other drivers using the truck. The top-of-the-line High Country package has added standard equipment, a heated, leather-wrapped steering wheel, power-adjustable pedals, and the Enhanced Driver Alert package, which includes Forward Collision Alert, Lane Keeping Assist, Low Speed Automated Emergency Braking, Automatic High Beams, and a seat that vibrates if the vehicle is in danger of crashing. View Photos Small capability upgrades include bumping the towing capacity from 12,000 pounds to 12,500 pounds on trucks equipped with the 6.2-liter V8, as well as a new P265-65R18 all-terrain tire offered as an option on the first lieutenant trim. What we like, coming into its own before our eyes like a young Michael B. Jordan going from Wallace in the Wire to Adonis Johnson in Creed. The 1500 has a newfound element of masculinity. The slimmer headlights and slotted LED running lights of 2016's frontal restyling gave the Silverado's rectangular face flair while maintaining the macho face expected of pickups. The sides display muscle with linked, 
angular wheel arches that could have been inspired by Dig Dug. It certainly looks the part of a proper truck. In conjunction with its physical maturity comes a surprising calmness on the road. The ride motions are gentle, the cabin is serene, occupants don't sway and bounce all over as they did in days of old, and the controls are not overly complicated. Even the infotainment system is straightforward and responsive. Drift away